<clears throat> Can we talk for a second? I really don't have a good feeling about this. I need you focused here, Vet. Sorry. I just have an irrational aversion to attacking monsters that can swallow me whole. I'm thinking, if the Jedi perform the demon blood ritual without a fight, there must be a way we can too. As a favor to me, could we please get through this without mixing it up with the sand demon? I was already planning on doing that. Oh good. That's a relief. It's showtime. The monsters caught a whiff of us. I'm ready to back you up if it goes badly. Desert, monster. I stand my ground. I will not run. Look into my eyes, beast. We are one, at peace. Beast has been cowed. Easy prey now. Yuck! So much blood! If I knew we were gonna literally bathe in it, I would have waited outside. And the smell. Oh, Kag! We're gonna stink for days! What if it never wears off? It will be alright, Vet. I sure hope you're right. I take a lot of pride in my hygiene. So, let's get out of the stink pit, huh? Calm yourself, Vet. Okay. I'm trying. I trailed and observed your descent here. I could not believe my eyes. The Sand People all ran from you. What transpired inside the Sand Demon Cave that makes this so? It was an epic battle, and I killed the beast. You have bathed in the demon's blood. Its essence fills the air. Now, Isabeau said that this is where your path will be illuminated. But there doesn't seem to be anything here. Wait! On your guard, Offworlder. One of the Sand People approaches. I will respond in kind. I've never seen one of the Sand People approach an outsider in peace. This parchment the Sand Person brought is remarkable. It is a crude but very clear map of the desert. It marks a door carved into the wall of the Desert Wound Ravine. But I've mapped this ravine and there is no such door. If this is where the Padawan went, I must follow. I shudder to think what awaits you there. The ravine marks the farthest I or anyone I know of has dared venture. Here are the coordinates. I will follow stealthed, using the dune's shadows. Then I'll see you there. You won't see me until I wish to be seen. Head deeper into the desert, and you will find the Desert Wound Ravine. Safe journey.
have lost your way, Dark One, but I have come to correct your course. I am the embodiment of your greatest potential. I am what you could be if you overcame your fear and walked in the light. You're mistaken. I am walking the light path. It is fruitless to lie to me. I am you. I know your heart. If you persist down this path, your life will be consumed by paranoia and fear. The trail will wait around every corner. You will never know whom to trust. I don't live in a fantasy world. Trust is an illusion. To someone who only knows darkness, it would seem so. You see, the dark side seeks to subjugate the Force. It treats the Force as an adversary to be used and manipulated. When you embrace the light, you meld with the Force, become part of it. Then true clarity and peace can be achieved. I can see why that would have its advantages. It is the true purpose of the Force. Look at our master. If the Dark is so potent, why is Darth Barriss deathly afraid of a young girl? Noman Kar's Padawan is merely a nascent champion of the Light, and already she strikes fear into the heart of a Dark Side master. That is a powerful argument. Maybe the Light is stronger. Then choose now to reverse your path. Commune with me. Turn away from the darkness and walk among the enlightened. I deny the dark side and endeavor to embrace goodness. You are wise. We embrace now. And you take your first step toward truth and purity. You have opened yourself to your true destiny. Now we are one. In the clarity of this communion, a vision of our destiny on Tatooine appears. Can you see it too? An encampment hidden in the farthest reaches of the desert, past a rock formation called the Forbidden Pass. Tell me more of this. There is no doubt this is where the Padawan went. This is where the great master helped her powers become expressed. The image fades. Find the Forbidden Pass and confront Master Yonluck beyond it. Our journey on this planet ends there. Farewell. I cannot believe what I just witnessed. Did, did you just tell yourself to venture beyond the Forbidden Pass? That is my understanding. I am chilled to the bone. The desert beyond the Forbidden Pass is an area that no one can survive. No one! Even the Sand People dare not go. You mustn't go. Your concern for me is unnecessary. This is not some silly superstition. Those who go beyond the Forbidden Pass are never seen again. I will not. I cannot follow you there. I needn't waste any more time with a coward. How that word burns me. I will return to your spaceport and update Darth Barriss. Amazing! You live! My congratulations. You are more worthy than any Mandalorian in the last five galactic cycles. Speak of what you faced. Let these young ones hear the path of true valor. Yes, please. What happened?
My vision became a black haze, but I still struck down all who came at me. It sounds glorious. Master, I want to try the ordeal. I think I'm ready. Do not compare yourself, lad. The training and endurance to face this test will take you many years. You can see your exploits will be a tale to inspire a generation. This is the weapon which marks your triumph. Use it in health. Master Yunlock, the Sith you've been tracking is upon us. Retreat to safety. I will take the intruder on. No, Yu Li. Control your feelings. Stand at my side. I will face this trespasser. Come no farther, Sith. I have been aware of your pilgrimage here. You are a fascinating and contradictory example of your order. I know why you've come. Master Nomenkar's Padawan threatens you somehow. You seek to flush her into the open and silence her. I'll see to it she never breathes another word. I will not allow it. It won't be the cause of her exposure. She came to me for guidance, and the bond we struck was the most profound of my life. We are psychically linked, she and I, and I have already warned her about you. She will not fall for your manipulations. I only seek to talk to her. I will not fall for your manipulations either. The disparity in our capabilities is equal to the disparity in our age. You cannot win. Turn away now. I'll remain here until I kick sand on your corpse. Now it is clear to me you cannot be redeemed. In me you face a full Jedi Master, and Yu Li has greater command of lightsaber combat than any Jedi Knight I've trained. My lord, the threat is not lost on me. Are you certain we can take on a full Jedi Master and a Jedi Knight? Keep your wits, Quinn. Your compatriot's query is moot, as you will be facing us on your own. Well done, Master Yonlock. Now please, retreat and let me face the Sith. Your concern is appreciated, Yu Li, but I did not seize the advantage here to immediately relinquish it. You don't fight fair, Jedi. When the stakes are this high, I am bound to do whatever it takes to preserve the Order. Now for the last time, will you stand down? I'll be standing on your corpse soon enough. Give no quarter, you leave. We fight to defend the entire Padawan. Your weapon, Sith. I beg you. You leave. Stay your tongue. No. She is just a Padawan. You are a great master. I must bargain for your life. Sith, I'll tell you everything I know, if you spare Master Yunlock. Out with it, scum. Her name is Jaysa Wilson, and Nomen Carr has taken her to... Yu Li, you have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. I have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. Now, sleep. I do not relish wiping Yu Li's mind like that, but his feelings for me got the better of him. Don't try that sorcerer's nonsense on me, Jedi. Believe me, I would, if I didn't sense it would be futile. Jaysa is special, her power unprecedented. If untouched by the likes of you, she has the potential to lead the Jedi to greatness. 
You're filled with presumptions, Yornlak. I mean her no harm. I know your mind, Sith. You twist the truth and manipulate weakness. I must err on the side of caution. You know Jace's name, but that is all you'll get here. So you may as well kill me. I must find tranquility, so Jace will sense only peace when you strike me down. Your death will wound her deeply. There is no death. Only... the Force. My lord, I'm sorry I was of no use to you. I did not anticipate the Jedi's incapacitating tactic. Don't be so hard on yourself, Quinn. I do not like to be caught unaware. I'm just thankful my support proved to be unnecessary. Sharik said she would be at our ship. She thought we were doomed. We should inform her of our success. She should never have doubted. She's about to learn that, my lord. I never expected to see you again. Does this mean you ventured beyond the Forbidden Pass and found Master Yonlock? I have yet to meet a challenge I can't conquer. This is a great lesson. The only barriers that exist are the ones we create in our minds. I will never again assume that I know all there is to know, and I will explore the entirety of the Tatooine Desert without reservation. Be sure to take care. I will strike a balance between care and daring. I hope Lord Barris knows how fortunate he is to have such a fine champion shepherding his cause. I shall never forget you. I'll remember you fondly as well. Safe travels, my lord. If you're ever on Tatooine again, come and see me. It will be a pleasure to put this overheated sandbox behind us. You look good with the tan, Captain. I hope it hides my blushes, my lord. I will ready the ship for our departure. Done admirably, apprentice. Your time on Tatooine was well spent. Norman Carr's Padawan Jaso Wilson no longer enjoys anonymity. I am very pleased. I'm touched by your enthusiasm. Your handling of Master Yonlock has sent our enemies a clear message. Norman Carr and Jaso Wilson now know they cannot hide. It gnaws at the Master and will bring his prized Padawan to her knees. You are a master strategist, my lord. It is deeply satisfying to see a plan take shape. Only Alderaan remains. Jaso Wilson's homeworld. Go there immediately. I will contact you when you arrive. Apprentice, I see you've touched down on Alderaan, Jason Wilson's home planet where Norman Carr found her. Excellent. 
You will discover everything you can about this Padawan and destroy everyone she loves there. It is a certainty. I hope your results will confirm your confidence. Unfortunately, with the civil war for the Alderanian throne raging, your contact, Duke Kendo of House Thule, has become unreliable. Kendo was supposed to find Jason Wilson's family for you, but it seems he's distracted. You must undistract him. I will handle it. Kendo is a political creature. The consequences of failing me are abstract for him. Once they are made concrete, he'll cooperate. You'll find him in the House Thule Executive Chambers. Make haste. Oh, <laughs> my